Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a double unboxing for you, so why don't we go ahead and get right into it. Let's see what items I have today. I like how they put the box, the cardboard box that they deliver the package in does have Saks Fifth Avenue written on the inside, top, interior part of the box and I think it looks really chic. And they have it bubble wrapped nice and tight to protect the items I purchased. And I'm just gonna put the box underneath in case I drop anything, which I often do. I can be a bit clumsy. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, this was something that was recommended from Michelle Wong. Uh, she's another fellow YouTuber and influencer and I absolutely love her channel. I will try to link it for you down below if you haven't already checked her out. This is the Cojun Doe Natural Lighting Powder, and she did talk about this in one of her skincare and makeup related videos. So I'm very excited to try this. Let's go ahead and open it and see what it looks like inside. Now I was able to purchase this with 20% off. Um, Saks Fifth Avenue did send me a code for 20% off. So I waited till I was able to get this at a discounted price. It is quite pricey. I will link all of the products and items down below as well for you. Um, but this I'm really excited to try. Currently I use the Laura Mercier powder, the finishing powder. And I find that as I'm getting older, it leaves my skin dry. And after a few hours of wearing it, it just kind of creates more creases for some reason. So I'm really excited to try this. Um, in Michelle Wong's video, she talks about how, oh, this is interesting. Hold dispenser lid down while removing seal before use. Okay, I won't do that on the video today because knowing me, I will make a mess. But I found that the Laura Mercier powder was leaving my skin looking a little cakey and dry and it was settling into the lines instead of blurring them away, which is really what they're supposed to do. So I'm excited to try this in Michelle's video. She mentions that this leaves a nice soft sheen finish on your skin and she like me also has dry skin so I'm really excited to try this. This is another recommendation by Michelle Wong. This is the Surat Dewdrop Foundation. Now I've mentioned in previous videos I don't normally wear a foundation but I am going to be attending an influencer shopping event this coming week. Uh, so I'm excited to wear a little bit of foundation for that event just for photos and pictures and it's nice to have that nice airbrushed look. Um, but let's see how this opens. So this, Surat is a brand I've not used before. This will be new for me, but in Michelle Wong's video, she pairs the Surat Dewdrop Foundation with the Cojun Doe Powder. She mentioned it gives you like an airbrushed look effect, like a Instagram filter. So I'm excited to give that a try. I mean, who doesn't love to look like an Instagram filter, right? The Surat brand is hard to find. They don't carry it in stores like Sephora and Ulta. So again, I purchased this from Saks Fifth Avenue and really excited to give this a try. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to follow up with updates on how it looked, my thoughts on it. Maybe I can do a quick video as well on my Instagram. Oh, that's interesting on the box. It's got sort of like a pebbled water look there. Isn't that cool? Hmm. All right, let's get into our next product. This is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base with Vitamin E. I'm really excited to try this. Um, it's a primer and moisturizer all in one. If you've followed my videos before or watched me on Instagram, you know that I'm a huge advocate of skincare. My skin does tend to run on the dry side because I use retinoid. So I always try to use a moisturizer and really ensure that my skin is hydrated before applying any makeup. So I'll be really excited to try this out. I'm a long-standing fan of Bobbi Brown. Um, 15 years ago when she had her Color Shimmer Bricks, I was a huge fan and I've used her face creams before and I really think that they are superior. So I'll be excited to give this a try. Let me know if you'd like to see more information on this. It's got a delicious sort of refreshing citrusy type of smell, really good. Um, I don't wanna put my fingers in it because my hands are not clean but I am happy to follow up with any answers to your questions. Just feel free to comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see. Excited to try this. Um, this is again that moisturizing face base. So you put this on underneath your makeup. 
and I will be trying this out with my new Surat Dewdrop Foundation and my Kogendo, or Co Kogendo, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, powder. So that is it for this box. So we've got another socks box. Pretty how they have this little black sticker there. Ah, and this is one of my favorite candles. This is the Diptyque Baez. I absolutely love this scent. Um, I've only tried two of their candles, the Two Blue Rus and the Baez, and I absolutely love them. Um, they burn slow. The scent is very luxurious, really fills up the entire room without being overwhelming. Really nice. So I'm excited to give this a try. We will be moving into our new home, hopefully sometime around May or June. As you may or may not know, if you're new here, we are in the process of constructing our new home. We tore it down and we're essentially building it from the ground up. So we've relocated temporarily to a nearby apartment, um, hence my lack of closet space and set my wardrobe in an organized manner. But uh, once we move back into the house, I will have my very own walk-in closet. I do plan on filming more content for you. Let me know, comment down below if you'd like to see a full house tour. I do often post house updates on the construction and how it's going on my Instagram. So if you don't already follow me there, be sure to do so, Girl Gone Lux. And that's it for this video, very quick unboxing. Uh, comment down below if you've used any of these products before, particularly the Surat Dewdrop Foundation or the Kojendo Powder. I'm very excited to try those. I would love to hear your feedback. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.